Hello, I'm Lauren Librarian. I work for Tower Hamlet School Library Service, and if you're watching this, it probably means that I am the librarian in your school. Okay, so today I thought I would draw you a story instead. Now, I can't draw it for you properly today, so we're going to have to change it up a bit and do it on the computer instead. The story, though, is one of my favourites. I try and tell this in every single one of my schools, and it's called The Fisherman's Wife. So our story starts with a fisherman. So here's our fisherman, here's his head, and here's his body. It's quite a tricky drawing computer, but it's worth a go, I tell you that now. There's his arms, and I think he is going to have a smiley face, smiley fisherman. And of course there's his fisherman's line, there it is. Now this story is called The Fisherman's Wife after all, so I should probably get on with drawing her. So here's her body, and I think she's going to have a skirt today. There we go. Skirt, one leg, two leg. Pair of arms, always useful. Now I think I'm going to give my fisherman's wife a bit of a barnet, a bit of a hairdo. You ready? There we go. <laughs> one hairdo. Okay. Now I wonder what sort of face she's going to have. I think she's going to have a frowny face because our fisherman's wife was not a happy wife at all and this was probably why because this is where they lived you see it's a rather wonky falling down little hut not exactly what she had in mind so our fisherman one day took his rod and he went to try and go down to the riverbank to try and uh, catch some fish as you do so out he went to the river and he threw out his line, <coughs> reeled it back in, <gasps> no fish. He'll try again, he'll try again. So he reeled it out his fit, line, <coughs> reeled it back in again, <gasps> no fish. Third time's a charm, maybe, third time lucky. So he took his rod, threw out the line, <coughs> So here is our huge golden fish, and he is an absolute whopper. Look at him. He's definitely big and golden. Oh, he's got a smiley face, which is always good. Imagine a fish and chip supper as you get out of this. And he was just about to pick up this huge, great big golden fish when the fish spoke and said, Wait, don't eat me. I'm a magic fish. If you let me go free, I will grant you any wish you desire. Well, the fisherman didn't think that sounded too bad at all, so he let the fish go back into the river and he ran back home to tell his wife all about what had happened. But do you think she was pleased? No, think of that frowny face she had. She wasn't pleased at all. Oh, fisherman, she said. Why did you throw the fish back? Look at it. We live in a tiny little hut like this. A tiny little hut. You should have said that a fish that you wished that we lived in the house. Go back to that fish, she said, and you tell that fish that you wish you lived in the house. So, back the fisherman went down to the bank and he called out, A fabulous fish, my wife has a wish. And up, boop, popped the fish, and it swam back towards the bank. What does she wish for? asked the fish. A fabulous fish, my wife, she wishes that we lived in the house. Go back to your wife, said the fish, and you shall see what you shall see. So he went back to his wife and there she was standing in front of a brand new, very neat little house with one, two brand new windows and a very neat little roof. Here we go. I lived happily ever after. Except soon after the fisherman's wife began to sigh and grumble. You can join in with this if you like. Ugh! 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 Fisherman, she whined, this house is just too small for me. I think I should live in a mansion. A mansion's like a really big house. I should live in a mansion, she said. Go back to that fish, she said, and you tell that fish that you wished we lived in a mansion. So back went the fisherman to the riverbank and he called out, a fabulous fish, my wife has a wish. And up, up, popped the fish and it swam back towards the riverbank. What does she wish for, asked the fish. A fabulous fish. My wife, she wishes that we lived in the mansion. Go back to your wife, said the fish, and you shall see what you shall see. 
So he went back to his wife and there she was standing in front of a very grand mansion. Now remember, a mansion is like a really big house. But to make it extra fancy, I think it's going to have a lot of windows. Did you know that at one point having windows meant that you could have lots of money, that you could afford such a rare thing as windows? It was quite a status symbol. So I think we better give this mansion quite a few windows, including a long fancy one like that one. There we go. They lived happily ever after. Except soon enough, the fisherman's wife began to sigh and grumble. You can join in now if you like. Ugh! 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 Fisherman, she whined. This mansion is just too small for me. I think I should live in a palace. Yep, I should live in a palace. Go back to that fish, she said, and you tell that fish that you wished we lived in a palace. Well, the fisherman went back towards the riverbank and he called out, a fabulous fish, my wife is a wish. And up, boop, popped the fish and it swam back towards the riverbank. What does she wish for? asked the fish. A fabulous fish, my wife, she wishes that we lived in a palace. Go back to your wife, said the fish, and you shall see what you shall see. So he went back to his wife and there she was standing, not in front of a mansion, but in front of a palace. A very fine palace. Let's give it a few towers, shall we? Here we go, because all palaces should have towers, I think. And I'm going to have turrets too. There's one, there's two turrets, and of course they're going to have flags. Because of course they'd have flags, I wouldn't they have flags? And we need to have some windows, but I think fancy slit windows this time. Just some skinny windows. There we go. And they lived happily ever after. Except, soon enough... The fisherman's wife began to sigh and grumble. She's pretty ungrateful, really, isn't she? You ready? Ugh! 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 Fisherman, she sighed. This palace is just a little bit too small for me. I think I should live in a castle. Yep, a castle. I deserve a castle. And I think I should have a crown on top of my head. Go back to that fish, she said, and you tell that fish that you wish that we lived in the castle. Now I had a crown on top of my head. Well, the fisherman did love his wife, so back he went to the bank and he called out, Oh, fabulous fish, my wife is a wish. And up, boop, popped the fish, and it swam back towards the riverbank. What does she wish for? asked the fish. Oh, fabulous fish, my wife, she wishes that she lived in the castle and that she had a crown on top of her head. Go back to your wife, said the fish. And you shall see what you shall see. So he went back to his wife and there she was standing, not in front of a palace, but in front of a castle. Now they've got fancy tops to their towers, this castle. I think they're called crenellations, actually. All I know is that they look very, very fancy indeed, very smart. And of course they've got the slitty windows again. Slit windows, just like those ones, like old time castles. And I think we're going to give it something in the middle as well, a big tower in the middle with another round roof, just like that. And a little flag on top as well, of course, why not? And flags on top of the towers too. There we go. And, oh, what have I forgotten? What have I forgotten? Of course, she needs her crown. There we go. And they lived happily ever after. Except, soon enough, the fisherman's wife began to sigh and grumble again. Come on, you can join in. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Fisherman, she whined, and she was getting really whiny by now. Fisherman, oh, I just don't think it's quite enough, she said. That is beautiful castle and it's crown on my head. I think I should actually rule the whole world. Yep, that's right. You heard me. I should rule the whole world. I should have a really big crown on my head. Go back to that fish, she said. And you tell that fish that you wish that I ruled the whole world, and that I had a really big crown on my head. Go on, chew. Well, by now, the fisherman was beginning to think that his wife was getting pretty greedy, but he loved her. What was he going to do? So he went back down to his bank, and he called out, A fabulous fish, my wife is a wish. And up, boop, popped the fish, and it swam back towards the riverbank. 
What does she wish for? asked the fish, looking a little bit fed up, quite frankly. Oh, fabulous fish. My wife, she wishes that she ruled the whole world, that she had a really big crown top of her head. Go back to your wife, said the fish, and you shall see what you shall see. So he went back to his wife, and there she was standing in front of their castle, but now it got some extra flags to prove that she was ruler of the whole world. And of course, she had got a really big crown. Look, it's a mega crown, whopper crown. Huge. And they lived happily ever after. Except, except, soon enough, the fisherman's wife began to sigh and grumble again. Ugh! 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 Fisherman, she whined. It's just not enough to rule the whole world and have a really big crown top of my head. I think I should rule the whole galaxy. Yeah, I should rule the whole galaxy. The whole entire galaxy and every planet within it. I think I should be ruler of it all, she said. Go back to that fish and you tell that fish that I should rule the entire galaxy. Go on, quick off. We go quickly. Well, now the fisherman really did think that his wife had gone way too far this time. But he loved her. He loved her dearly. So he did what he was told. He went back down towards the riverbank and he called out, A fabulous fish, my wife has a wish. Up, boop, popped the fish. And it swam back towards the riverbank. Oh, what does she want now? said the fish, looking really hacked off by now. No wonder she's been so greedy. The fisherman looked a bit ashamed of himself and said, A fabulous fish, my wife, she wishes that she ruled the entire galaxy and all the planets and the people within it. Please. The fish looked at the fisherman for a good long time hard minute and he said go back to your wife you shall see exactly what you deserve to see so the fisherman went back to his wife the fish had long gone by now and she wasn't standing in front of a castle no palace no mansion even no house nothing all she was standing in front of was their little hut they started out with. All the flags are gone, all the windows, fancy otherwise, all gone. Everything had gone, even her crowns. Her fancy, fancy crowns are gone. Everything was gone, except for the tiny little hut they started out in. And there they remained for the rest of their days in that little hut. The end. And of course, I've got to give you a little exclamation point and a star, I think, to finish it all off. The end. Okay, so that is the story of the fisherman's wife. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget that now you've seen how I do it, you can practice telling the story yourself as well. I mean, I've literally just drawn it for you. <laughs> so you can tell the story yourself and be the storyteller. Don't forget, you don't have to tell it exactly the way I do. You don't have to say everything that I say. You can tell it how you want to tell it. Just draw things out as you go. You might even be able to tell the story to someone in a video call, maybe. You can set yourself up with like a whiteboard or a piece of paper behind you. And you can draw it all out while you're video calling someone. I don't know. Or you could practice telling it to someone else in the house. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, all of you. And I shall hopefully see you soon. Bye.